Ooh. How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode 4 of my building tips and tricks series where in each video I'll be showing you 10 tips or tricks that I use when I'm building an arc. But before I start I want to give a shout out to my sponsor Advanced GG. I've been using the focus and energy products for over a month now and not only do they taste great but they genuinely work. I feel more focused, more alert and have a lot less brain fog when I'm building. All advanced supplements are open label, which means you can find all the ingredients on the website or on the back of each tub. The products are sugar free and give you 4-6 to six hours of energy, which is perfect for that long resource grind for your next arc build. The two flavours I would personally recommend are M Tashed Mango Splash and Dream Team Punch. Head over to the website to see the full range of flavours and use code Aaron30 at checkout to receive a 30% discount off your order. Also, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications if you want to keep up to date with all my latest videos. Now that's out of the way, here are 10 more tips and tricks for building an arc. Tip number 1. Using wall signs to create boarded windows. This one's very easy and creates a good looking effect. First head over to the greenhouse wall, then select the wooden wall sign and rotate it. We're then going to place another wall sign to create our first board. Next, continue rotating and placing wooden wall signs to create boards on all the windows. If you place the wall signs at different angles, it will give your build a more natural look. Another idea is to place wall signs on the floor to make it look like the boards have fell off the windows. I use this technique to board the windows up on the Spooky Mansion stream and also on the Creepy House build as well. Tip number 2. Creating grass or turf using rugs and paint. The first thing we need to do is place some rugs onto a foundation or ceiling. It's best to use flat materials like wood or metal. Some materials like stone poke through the rug and don't look as good. Next we want to grab our paintbrush, then hit the rug with it, then paint both the regions green. And you can see here what this looks like when it's incorporated into a build. I use this technique on both my modern houses. Tip number three, how to layer walls. The first thing we need to do is place a foundation. Then we're going to place a flip wall on the side. Next, place a ceiling on top. This allows you to place another wall behind the first one. Snap it into place and then flip it like we did before. Place another ceiling on the second wall. Then simply rinse and repeat this process, flipping each wall and placing a ceiling on top. And then finally, demolish the ceilings. This technique works with metal, adobe, tech and thatched walls. Tip number 4. Raising and stacking ceilings. Ok, for this one we're going to start by placing some walls with a ceiling on top. Next, place a triangle ceiling, then snap a wall to it. This will create a higher snap point for the next ceiling. You can then demolish or pick up the triangle ceiling and the wall. Then it's a case of repeating this process until you get your desired height. Tip number 5. How to lower ceilings. Just like before, we're going to start by placing some walls with a ceiling on top. Then place a double door frame underneath the ceiling. As you can see here, double door frames have two snap points. Next, snap another ceiling to the lower snap point, then demolish the door frame. You can then continue repeating this process, each time lowering the next ceiling by one unit. Tip number 6. Create a sphere using a water reservoir and tech lights. Originally I seen this design post over on my Discord. It was made by a content creator called Rico. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. I love the design and I want to share with you how it's done. First place down some water pipes, followed by a water reservoir. Next, place a tech light on the top, then simply place additional tech lights around the reservoir, rotating them occasionally until the whole thing's covered. Take some time putting the tech lights down and try to leave as few gaps between them as possible. As 
As I said before, I love this design. It's super easy to do and it looks amazing. And if you paint the tech lights, you can make some really cool designs. And as you can see, several of the architects used this design in their builds during the Star Wars event this month. Tip number seven, overlapping giant hatch frames. Big shout out to Captain Fat Dog for his help with this one. First start by overlapping a thatch ceiling. Then place four thatch ceilings from the first one. Then snap a giant hatch frame to the wall, ensuring that the thatch ceiling is in the center of the hatch frame. The ceiling will then demolish when the hatch frame is placed. Repeat this on the next three ceilings. Then demolish or pick up the thatch ceiling that's connected to the wall. I recently used this technique to create the pagoda and the skylights in the modern house build. Tip number eight, creating triple walls using the slope wall technique. Start by placing some flipped slope left walls around the outside. I'm gonna be using thatch because they'll be replaced a little bit later on in the build. Next, snap walls of your choice behind the slope walls and then flip them. Then replace the slope walls with a flip wall of your choice. Now place some ceilings around the outside. Again, I'm going to be using thatch because these are just temporary. Next, snap a third layer of walls to the ceilings and then flip them. Finally, demolish or pick up the ceilings. What I like about this method of layering walls is that they're all at the same height and nice and flush. However, there is a gap at each corner, but we can cover them with pillars and I'll show you how to do this now. First, we're gonna to need to place a fence foundation at each corner and then snap a pillar to each one. Then like before, place the flip left walls around the outside. At each corner, make sure the wall does not snap with the fence foundation or the walls will be at different heights later on in the build. Snap some walls behind the slope walls and then flip them. Replace the slope walls with a flip wall. Add some temporary ceilings around the outside. Then snap a third layer of walls to those ceilings and then flip them. Finally, demolish or pick up the ceilings. You can see here the two examples and what they look like. I tend to use the one on the right with the pillars in each corner because I think it looks a lot cleaner. Tip number nine, adding railings to stone walls. We're gonna start by placing some walls on our foundation. Then place some thatch walls where we plan on adding the railings. Next, place some thatched ceilings below the thatched walls. Then snap the railings to these ceilings. We can then go ahead and pick up and demolish the ceilings. Finally, replace the thatched walls with a wall of your choice. Tip number 10, creating a raised lip. First, we're gonna to need to place a ceiling below the top wall. Then we need to place a pillar at the lowest snap point. Then place another ceiling on top of this pillar. Repeat this process until the ceilings are at a height you are happy with. Then simply place more ceilings from the last ceiling, creating a lip. I use this technique to create the roof on both of my modern house builds. And there we have it, 10 more tips and tricks for building an arc. Hopefully you found some of them useful and enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, it really does help out my channel. As I've said in previous videos, this is a series that I really want to continue, so expect some more tips and tricks videos on the channel shortly. In the meantime, why not get your daily building fix by jumping at my Discord server and join an ever-growing building community. Now all the stuff for me to say is thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hello.